Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Ordinarily, if you saw me dressed like this anywhere, even in the hospital, you wouldn't quickly decode that I'm a medical doctor. Because usually, doctors have their signature look, which is the white coat. Now it's the same dressing, with just one addition, and you could easily suspect now that I'm a medical doctor. Yes, this name gives it up. But even if this name was absent, you could suspect that I was a medical doctor. And it all has to do with this white coat. We have another alternative dressing. Now, if it's something like this, definitely, this is another way we look. And the perfect combo to our dressing as doctors is combining the scrubs with the white coat. Uh, as cool as this is, I usually don't like this combo. I think it's a waste of both the white coats and the scrubs. But today's video is all about why doctors started wearing the white coats and why it's white. <laughs> If you ask a lot of people why doctors wear lab coats or what coats, including doctors, the law will tell you that first it's a symbol of identification, so you easily know who the doctor is. Fun fact, doctors were the first to start wearing the white lab coat. And the second thing is, many doctors will tell you that it's easy for you to keep many of the tools you need, like our pen, our stethoscope, our notepads, our pages, whatever we need will be there. The pediatricians also include some toys and some candies to be able to form a rapport with their pediatric patients, that's the children. Others will outrightly tell you that they don't know, including medical doctors. They just happen to see doctors wear word coats and they also join in the bandwagon. So, but it goes beyond that. It really goes beyond that. If you see anybody in white coats in the hospital and and other people wear white lab coats, especially those that work in the lab, you will easily attach them to doctors. You don't see anybody with a white lab coat in the hospital and just assume the person is a medical lab scientist. It's easier for you to take a medical lab scientist as a medical doctor. So somehow the white lab coat has just been easily attached to us. But we don't own the exclusive right. We are not the only ones that wear it. And we went the ones that started wearing this. I am leaving this fact for towards the end of the video. So if you want to know how we came about it and who started it, just wait till the end of the video to get that. In the early history of medicine, the first thing you have to know is that medicine wasn't really as scientific as it is now because now we see medical doctors as scientists. Whatever we do are based on solid facts. They are there. Nobody just brings this idea. They're already facts and set principles with set protocols that are backed by sciences. Unlike before in the early centuries, like before the 17th century or so, it was more of a pseudoscience, sometimes an outright quackery so people come to doctors as last resort and the success rate earlier was extremely poor. We can talk about how very, very aseptic medical procedures were. Do you know that doctors had started operating on people without sterilizing themselves and without using sterilized instruments? It was later on in life. That's another fact you should know. So imagine that. And they usually operate on patients without any form of painkiller. So if you couldn't end your pain, you are in trouble. Most of the success rate of surgical procedures were terrible. Another fact you should know is that initially doctors were black. And that's because black had a class to it. White is actually one of the cheapest form of fabrics you could get in the early days. So it was cheap and medicine wasn't really that noble. So when doctors wanted to identify themselves as high-class personalities, they were black. I just put an illustration for you to see how doctors dress as scary. I don't think I will carry myself to see a doctor dressed as this. No, I wouldn't. And I can't imagine myself dressing like this now. The reason was because for other colors, you needed to dye the colors, and that was very expensive. Hence, whites were cheaper and 
let me tell you something again. Doctors don't wash their black outfits. So many times you see it still carrying the stains, including blood, bodily fluids, and some human parts per se. So it was quite dirty. Let's not include the smell in this. There was a British surgeon by the name Joseph Lister, that was in the 19th century, inspired by the work of Louis Pasteur. And this Pasteur happened to be the one that found the germ theory of diseases and looked at how sterilization helped to kill a lot of germs. So we owe a lot to Louis Pasteur. He also formed the theory for pasteurization. Those that take milk, yogurts. Thank this man. And he decided to actively give medicine a facelift. And the first thing he did was to bring the white coat. The earlier people that started it were actually scientists. Those that work in labs to bring up since they were not medical doctors. And then with the help of Joseph Lister, medical doctors embrace this first because white will reflect any form of stain. So this was to help cut out the initial impression doctors have with their dirty black outfits. Now the white will show any stain. That means that you're forced to wash the white coat. And when it's sparkling clean, it just shows how presentable, how neat you are. White really have nothing to do with whatever we think of virtue, purity. No, it was just because it was cheap first and then secondly to help give a facelift to medicine. This help present doctors as very neat. And thirdly, through the help of sterilization, white garments easily withstand a lot of washing and a lot of bleaching too. So if I was to be bleaching this regularly, it means that over time it will fade. Unlike white, it doesn't. So it can withstand a lot of this sterilization procedures. And that further helped too. And over time, we seem to have taken everything because medicine became noble and this was how our dressing was. It was easy to identify this with medical doctors. And that's all. That's how we started wearing white lab coats, precisely. What did you think was the reason before? Let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe, subscribe and turn on the bell notification. What else do you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you and I will see you in my next video.